Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel Concepts of ICT. In this lesson we are going to learn about the number systems. So what is a number system? A number system can be defined as a collection of digits. So what is this number and a digit? What are those two? A digit is simply a single character and a number it can be a single character or a collection of more than two digits so a number system as we discussed is a collection of digits uh, when we're discussing about ICT uh, there are a few number systems that we use in ICT and in computing uh, there are basically four number systems. They are binary, octal, decimal, and hexadecimal. Decimal is the number system that we are familiar with. But the other three, I don't know, maybe you have heard about them. Maybe you know them. Let's see. So, the binary number system. Uh, before going to that, let's discuss what is decimal that we are familiar with. That, that is the number system that we use in calculations, in mathematics. Uh, it comprises of 10 digits, that number system. In that number system, whatever the number that you write, it is written using only 10 digits. The digits used in that particular number system are from 0 to 9. That means 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. Those are the digits used in that particular number system. So, when you come to binary number system, it uses only two digits, the digits 0 and 1 to represent the number. Whatever the number you write, you represent using only those two digits. There are no other digits used in that binary number system. So, the other number system that we named was octal number system. So, in this octal number system, it uses 8 digits. They are from 0 to 7. 0, 1, 2, up to 7. So, the remaining one is hexadecimal. This hexadecimal number system, it uses 16 digits. The 16 digits will be then from 0 to 15. Uh, but when it comes to hexadecimal, there's a huge problem. That is from digits 10 to 15. From digits 0 to 9, it is okay. But from there onwards, from 10 to 15, when you write them, you write it as, for example, the number 10 is written as 1 and 0. So, when you write this, there are two digits actually, not one. So, in a number system, there can be only digits, not numbers. So, what is the solution? The solution is, for numbers from 10 to 15, we use capital letters in the English alphabet. For 10, we use capital A. For 11, we use capital B. 12, we use capital C. 13, we use capital D, 14 E and 15 F. So those are the digits used in hexadecimal number system. We use 0 to 9 and then from A to F. So four basic number systems are binary, octal, decimal, and hexadecimal. So when we discuss about number systems, there is another concept called the base of a number system. What is a base? I think you have seen this, but I don't know whether you know that. Okay. Anyway, a base of a number system represents the number of digits used in that particular number system. So when you write a number, you have to state whether what is the number system used in that particular number. For example, 
So this is a number used, written using the binary number system. In that, the digit 2 here, it is not a part of the number, I mean uh, a digit of that particular number, but it is called the base of that particular number system. So it states this uses the binary number system. It is written as a subscript, the number 2 here is written as a subscript. So the base is basically written as a subscript of that number. So if it is an octal number, for example, one, six, seven, you have to put eight as a subscript. So that state it is, this number is written in octal number system. For a decimal number, one, nine, five, you put 10 as the subscript. And for an hexadecimal number, A, B, five, you put 16 as the subscript. So the base of a number system represents the number of digits used in that particular number system. So in this lesson we learned about the number systems, what is a number system, what is a number, what is a digit, and the four basic number systems that we use in computing. Binary, octal, decimal, and hexadecimal. These four. And uh, we learned about the digits used in each uh, number system, the binary, octal, decimal, and hexadecimal. In binary, we use two digits. In octal, we use eight digits. In decimal, we use ten digits. And in hexadecimal, we use 16 digits. So the number of digits used in a particular number system is represented using the base of a number. When you write a number, you have to put the base at as a subscript in that number. So that is all for the first lesson about the number systems. And we will learn about the conversions within the number systems in the coming lesson. So, if you like my video or my lesson, please subscribe. Thank you. Thank you for watching.